Keeping our sea lanes safe for all mariners is the undertaking of one of the UK's most historic charities, the Corporation of Trinity House. Incorporated by Henry VIII, Trinity House is at the forefront of technological developments in maritime safety and cadet training. Jonathan Gibson reports for duty dockside in Harwich. Lacey Griffin was just 16 when she applied for a cadetship with the Corporation of Trinity House. On my first day, I thought, oh, this is so scary. And within a week, I, I was loving it. Three years on, she's about to become a fully qualified deck officer. I need to go and finish a few exams and hopefully finish my cadetship and become a fully qualified deck officer. Then I'll go to sea and I want to work my way up until I become a captain. So that's my plans. Helping new recruits like Lacey reach their potential is what Trinity House's cadet scheme is all about. It's currently sponsoring more than 100 cadets to become deck, engineering and electrotechnical officers. We're probably best known as the General Lighthouse Authority for England, Wales, the Channel Islands and Gibraltar. But there is another side to us as well, the corporate side, which performs a charity function. And under that function, we will support the mariner, both at sea and mariners ashore who are in need. And when you look at the traffic in the Dover Straits, through the English Channel and in the bottom end of the North Sea, it is one of the busiest traffic areas in the world. There are some very big ships out there and we need to make it really safe as we can. We want to prevent the motorway pileup, if you like, in the seas. And that's our job and it's extremely important. So this is our latest position. Just like Lacey, Captain Emma Tiller started her career as a sponsored cadet and continues to be involved with Trinity House as a younger brother, while continuing her marine career as a marine accident investigator for the MAIB. When incidents occur, Trinity House's quick reaction is vital to protect other shipping. Well, if a boy is out of position, it can have disastrous results. And Trinity House um, is very, very prompt at getting out there and marking um, events when they happen, like a wreck, for instance. They're very quick on station. They have the right assets in the right place, so they're able to get out there with the right voyage and mark this, and also put navigational warnings out through the Coast Guard and other sources like the um, uh, Hydrographic Office to warn all shipping that something isn't right. That quick response depends on aids to navigation being constantly monitored. So at the planning centre in Harwich, staff are on shift around the clock. And the operators in here can look at all the aids to navigation around our coastline. It's all the lighthouses, the lightships, the voyage, and also see where all the ships are. So they've got a full picture of what's going along our coast. Maintaining 99.8% availability of their aids to navigation is no easy task. Lighthouses, buoys, beacons and light vessels all need regular checking, as Lacey's been discovering throughout her cadetship. When I knew I wanted to be a cadet, I, I went to all the open days that were available at the Maritime Academies. 5G CSE is a star to see, is what you really need to get in. You're getting paid to travel and learn, and at the end you, you have a career out of it. So. It's, it's really a great opportunity. It's also given Lacey a flavour of Trinity House's wide-ranging remit, from marking shipwrecks to developing digital aids to navigation. And by working more efficiently, it's also been driving down costs. Good news for ship owners and everyone who buys in its services. Beyond that, the charity is also responsible for examining and licensing deep-sea pilots to advising the Admiralty Court. All our boys in Southampton Water are inspected every year by Trinity House to make sure that we're actually maintaining them to the correct, correct level for the safety and navigation. We need to make sure that our channels are marked. We spend a lot of money doing maintenance dredging and capital dredging. As a result, we need to make sure the channels are marked by the correct boys in the correct position. So with more than 500 years of history, Trinity House is still evolving, helping to train the next generation of mariners while staying true to its founding principle of protecting all at sea.